So let's do an exercise and install the 60-60-30 solution into your workday. If you're going to be doing a series of uh, focused sessions that really leverage and optimize your productivity, where do you think the best place in your day is to insert this and to do it? The beginning of the day, of course. So here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to plan to start using the first two and a half hours of every workday from the beginning of your work and install the 60-60-30 solution right into that first two and a half hours. Okay, we're just gonna spend the first two and a half hours of the day working this way because this is a new ritual, a new routine. We don't wanna to change too much. We don't wanna try and do your whole day this way and mess up everything that you do. We just wanna get it in for the first session of the day. A little hint here, work on your biggest opportunities. Work on the thing that makes you the most money. Work on whatever it is that uh, will you know, produce the most results in your business with these first two 50 minute chunks that you're gonna work focused. But anyway, here's the, uh, here's the homework. Get yourself a little timer. I've got like three or four different kinds of these timers that are kind of laying all around for me, so there's always one handy. You can go get one of those kitchen uh, timers, you know, the old style one where you turn the thing and it goes ding at the end. Doesn't matter what kind of timer you get. I've got one that's pretty cool that I think I paid 10 bucks for that's got, you know, a keypad so you can put in the exact number of minutes and press start. Um, it doesn't have to be fancy. You can go down to the drugstore and buy, uh, buy one for a few bucks or you can order one online, but get yourself a timer very important that you get the timer and you use the timer. Even if you don't use it long term, you need to use it for the first 30, 60, 90 days or so to start training yourself in the rhythm. Now I've been doing this for a while and I still use the timer and I highly recommend that you use it, but you gotta get the timer and you gotta try it out. And instead of thinking of it as something that's uh, you know, constraining you, think of it as something that's freeing you. That when you sit down, you're going to work for 50 minutes on something, or you stand up and you're going to work for 50 minutes on something, that you're free for that 50 minutes to just focus on that one opportunity without distraction, without interruption, and without multitasking, without doing any of that stuff that wastes your time. And uh, we're going to get that timer. The next thing that you're going to do after you've scheduled that two and a half hour chunk at the beginning of your workday and you've gotten your timer is you're going to plan out in detail how you're going to use that time. Okay, so like I said before, I recommend you use the first two 50 minute chunks on your biggest opportunity. Plan out what you're going to do with those sessions. Identify where the high leverage is. We're gonna talk more about this later in the future of the program, but just get started. You know, start building the muscle of saying, okay, where's my biggest opportunity? I should spend those two 50 minute chunks on that. The next part you want to plan out is what is that meal going to be that you eat when you take your 30 minute break. Ideally, you've been doing your personal success ritual at the beginning of your day every day now, and you've got 90 minutes uh, to 120 minutes of making yourself strong and powerful and focused and clear. So when you come to work, whether that's at home or in an office, when you arrive, you could sit down and you can get right into your focused blocks of time. I recommend that you don't check your email and voicemail messages and do all that stuff because what that does is it puts you in reactive mode. It gets you reacting to other, other people's agendas and what they want from you. Don't do that. Spend that first two and a half hours totally focused on you, your biggest opportunity, and your focus time. And then, you know, when you relax, you're gonna have your meal planned so you've eaten a really strong healthy meal at the beginning of the day in your personal success ritual, right? Hopefully as close to raw, organic, and highly nutritious as possible. And then you'll have your second meal planned for that first break. And you may need to bring the meal with you or prepare it. You don't want to leave this one to chance. If you will have your first healthy meal during your personal success ritual, and then you'll plan that second healthy meal for your 30 minute break, and then you'll relax for 20 or so minutes after, just that little window of a few hours at the beginning of your day with the personal success ritual and the first healthy meal, and then the 60-60-30 focused on your biggest opportunity and that second really nutritious meal and that break, you can accomplish more in those few hours than most people accomplish all day.